我现在是打的是七七 Pro， 七七 Pro， 对，然后四 U 的，四 U， 四 U， 然后 Astro， 七七七 Pro， Pro， 啊，三 U 和四 U， 我四 U， 四 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 U， 我看你们是七十七的，两个都是。首发是呃，才刚刚换那个七十七 Pro 啊，三 U 还是四 U？ 我我我是三 U 啦，三 U。OK， 你 seventy seven？ 呃 ，I play the Astro seventy seven， yes。No Pro？ No Pro yet， no but pro they yet. the Pro、uh, lay at the stringing service， so from the next、okay. tournament on， I play the、next、Pro。Okay, okay.。Uh, He's a Pro <laughs>。Well， you'll you'll be a Pro next week， right？ Yes <laughs>。The Astrox 77 Pro, the latest iteration to the ever popular Astrox 77s that many players, even the pros, love. And it's been quite a while since I last published my take on the Astrox 77, May 2021 to be exact. So let's see what has changed with this updated Astrox 77 Pro. Before we look deeper into the Astrox 77 Pro, I want to take a moment to consolidate where we were up to with the current version of the Astrox 77. In my previous video, you can see the 77 in a yellow color scheme which was one of the two available colors back then, shine yellow and metallic blue. The latest color scheme is called shine red, although to me it looked a lot more like neon orange rather than straight red. But it's all right as it's bright, it's matte and it's got gold foil on. I love it. And when we look at the Astro 77 Pro, it's now officially called the high orange color and it's gone back to being a glossy racket. Am I disappointed? No, not really, as I think the purple patches and the detail on the decals matches the design aesthetics really well and over time it grew on me. Not bad at all. Another visually noticeable difference would be the control support cap from the previous generation 77 being upgraded to the Energy Boost Cap Plus, which is seen on all current Yonex high-end rackets. But there is a slight difference. I'm not sure if Yonex is making a transition to this current version, but older generation Energy Boost Cap Plus, which is seen on the Astrox 88 S Pro, 88D Pro, 99 Pro, and even the 100ZZ all have this double indentation on the flat side of their Energy Boost Cap Plus, whilst this 77 Pro have a flatter profile that is actually shared with the more recently released Arcsaber 11 Pro. Does this change affect me? No, not at all, as I normally grip my rackets all the way to the cone support cap anyways, so this doesn't affect me much, but it does have a cleaner look, so that's a positive step in my opinion. One update that isn't visually noticeable is the use of Flex Fuse, which is a shock absorbing resin used in the T-joint, which according to Yonex, says it's for a more comfortable hitting feeling. More on that later on. In terms of specs, both rackets here are 4U G5 and everything on the Astro 77 Pro measured exactly the same as the previous generation Astro 77. From the shaft length of 22cm to the handle length of 16.5cm, they were all the same. The frame height and width were also identical at 23.7cm for height and 18.7cm for width. Even the frame thickness was the same at 9.9mm as well as both rackets featuring a half recess frame profile. By now, you should know that if you want to protect your precious badminton rackets from chips, scratches and damages, you should check out the premium racket protection tape I have on my website at ckoiw.com forward slash shop. Plenty of happy players with healthy rackets there. Link in the comments and description below. The only minute measurable differences I found from the 77 and the 77 Pro was the shaft diameter going from 7mm to 7.1mm, so fairly negligible difference there. I also noticed Yonex did not add any large grommets to the new Astro 77 Pro like they have with the 88S Pro, 88D Pro, 99 Pro and even the recently launched Yonex Astrox Next Age. I personally am a big fan of the larger grommets as I generally felt it enhances the playability of the rackets with slightly more string movements which results in a slightly larger sweet spot as well as slightly longer shuttle hold. String and wise, both rackets had no issues whatsoever and were strong with my usual setup of Aerobite at 27 by 29 pounds. Right, let's get on to hitting. And as I will be comparing the 77 Pro directly to the 77, it was important I get a good feel for the 77 before I check out the 77 Pro. Because my usual racket is the Astrox 88D Pro, I can immediately feel the 77 being faster than my 88D Pro as it had less head weight, but also super smooth at the same time. The 77 also felt softer than my 88D Pro because it's more flexible too. 
The Astrox 77, in my opinion, is kind of the perfect racket to introduce to anyone that does like to have that little bit of head weight in a racket. Heck, in my book, it's actually an even balanced racket with a medium hitting feel. I remember saying in my previous video that the key strength for the 77 is its ability to be all rounded and very good at every single aspect required of a badminton racket. Nothing spectacular in any single department but above average for all and this is certainly true. The Astro 77 is certainly a really pliable and easy racket to play with and one that I'd be more than happy to recommend to anyone. So what's better with the 77 Pro? From my testing, I felt the 77 Pro was faster than the 77. Marginally, but yes, faster. In terms of feel, it also felt a touch softer than the 77 II, and this perhaps is from the Flex Fuse material which I discussed earlier in the video. But if you are someone who likes the feel of the 77, you will have no issues with the 77 Pro and will love it. Power-wise, it was easy enough to generate good power, especially if you use your fingers well for gripping timing. I had to change my timing a little bit because I personally prefer a slightly stiffer racket, so that's no fault of the 77 Pro. And yes, this thing is smooth, very smooth. Additionally, I did find the 77 Pro being that bit easier to play with compared directly with the previous generation's 77. And because of the 77 Pro being slightly faster, I felt it had that edge. Nowadays, I value the playability of a racket very highly as we do have off days on court and having a racket which can get me out of jail on those days is a pretty nice feeling. It allows me to enjoy my badminton even on those off days. Yes, it's certainly nice to have a racket with out and out raw power and stiffness like the old school Voltrix Z Force 2, but it's super demanding at the same time and I can't keep up. As an amateur who doesn't get much opportunities to train as much as I like, swallowing my ego and going for something that's easier to play with might be a better ultimate choice. Ultimately, I think Yonex did a great job on the Astro 77 Pro, making an almost perfect all-rounder racket even better. If you're someone that's looking for a fast, smooth and reliable racket, this 77 Pro is for you. But if you already own the current 77 and was wondering if it's worth the upgrade, I would say to skip this one and keep on with your current 77. The gap in performance isn't that big at all. It's not like you're going from the second generation Astrox 88D to the current Astrox 88D Pro. Now that's a big jump. I'll see you in the next one. Astrox 77 Pro? No pro? Pro? No pro? No pro? No pro? pro? No 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 pro?